Welcome back and happy holidays. Today I'm going to show you how to put on your Christmas overalls. Again, I don't know why we have to do this every year, but I hope you don't mind staying pantless for just a little while longer as I take just a moment to thank the following people for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club, Nicholas M., Venkat Ramamurthy, and Paul Heron. Guys, thank you very... I don't know what that just landed on. Thank you very, very, very much for your support. And if you would like to find out what that's all about, the link, of course, is in the description. Every single tab and chord chart on the internet says that this song is capo 2 and that the first two chords are G and E minor. But I have two issues with that. The first being, if you watch Tom Petty playing it live and there's at least one video <laughs> up... Excuse me, I have no idea what happened. There's at least one video of him on YouTube playing it live, and he is not using a capo. Secondly, E minor, actual F sharp minor, by itself lacks the tumult of those two notes, which we definitely hear in the mix. So, so the chords for the intro and the first part of the verse are A, F sharp diminished seven, which sounds a lot more complicated than it is. D4, G5, B4, baby, E5. Notice the finger order, it's important. Pointer, ring, middle, pinky. Followed by B minor. And E. It's Christmas time. Everybody's singing, all the bells are ringing. B minor, E, B minor, and it's D7. You can play D7 normal style down here, or my favorite way to play D7 is if you take C and add your pinky finger to the G string third fret, you got C7, of course. Move that two frets higher and promise not to let either E string ring out, and you've got D7. B minor. Everybody's E, back to B minor, all the bells are D7. I particularly like that chord change because your pinky finger gets to stay on the G string when you go from B minor to this D7. The chorus is A, F sharp minor, twice, then a big long B minor, and a big long E. It's Christmas all over again, yet yeah, again. The first time something's different is the all over town section. It's G minor, just like F sharp minor, but one fret higher, three, five, five. G minor, all over A. Do it again, G minor, A, and then we're into D once, twice, three times, four times, B minor once, twice, and E. We go. I'm making those staccato or short by only squeezing right when I strum and then the unsqueeze, but I don't want to take my fingers all the way off because then you'd get, we don't want that. We want your fingers to remain in contact with the strings so they make the sound short. Easier with B minor. There you go. The last chorus is a bit different, so follow along. It starts normal, A, F sharp minor, do it again, all over, then E again, drum fill, A, F sharp minor, just like normal, A, F sharp minor, B minor again, but then D minor, ah yeah. Love that change, and then it's a slow chorus. A, F sharp minor, all over, B minor again, D minor, A. Now 
go put on your Christmas overalls. The neighbors are tired of looking at your jingle bells. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful. What other Christmas songs should we do this year? I'll see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.